Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new track, a new, I think, color base sort of one, or melodic base from Monster Cat. It is Chime and Convexity with Liminal. Uh, this was the song that was voted on by the Bowtie Gang uh, for, uh, yeah, to do a reaction video, so if you want to be a part of that voting, you can join the channel membership today. But let's hop into this one. This is a really interesting one because uh, I'm a huge fan of Chime. I'm also a pretty big fan of Convexity. Uh, Convexity is a pretty lesser known artist, I would say, especially comparatively to Chime. And uh, I've been following them for quite a bit. And this is their first Monster Cat release, uh, which I'm excited for because I know that that's been a dream of theirs for a long time. And so way to go, Convexity. You made it. You made it. And with the track of Chime. And Chime is just one of the goats. So I'm excited to get into this track. Here we go. This is Liminal by Chime and Convexity. Reports of missing persons have been pouring in from across the nation, leaving authorities scrambling for answers. The leading theory from specialists right now is that these were not abductions. Rather, these people ceased to exist on the spot. As you can see, CCTV footage captured in the county shows a man vanishing into thin air after a series of bizarre movements. Oh, a creepy background. Let's go with the liminal idea. are likening it to a phenomenon from video games where players can glitch their way out of bounds. Oh. Investigators are looking into all possibilities, even melting out of reality. Very punchy. Okay, a lot going on on this track off the bat for sure. The disappearances happen most frequently in so-called liminal spaces, uh. referring to transitional or purely functional man-made areas of buildings where the boundaries of reality seem to blur. Purely functional. So far, school corridors, abandoned office buildings, and quiet subway stations have seen the most vanishing incidents. Well, how can I no-clip into this new world? Out of reality, another... believe that the unique properties of these overlooked locations may hold the key to understanding the phenomenon, acting as gateways that disrupt the fabric of reality. Wow. Okay. Liminal, Chime, and Convexity. It is here. 
Uh, very fascinating track. It is way punchier than I think I've heard any other color based song to date. And what I mean by that is it's just like, it's just the, the sounds and the individual elements are a lot more rigid. They're a lot more self-contained than they are a part of a more holistic piece of, uh, of a melody or of just the drop in general, the song in general. And so it's just, it's just a little bit more like a bunch of tiny, small little elements that come to make one grander. And I know that's what all music is, but like a bunch of tiny elements making one big song, but it feels more uh, like tangible in that sense. You can hear the small individual tiny elements rather than it being like a longer, like guitar solo or like a sustain or anything like that. You can just, you can feel it in the moments. Um, I will say off first, uh, off first rip, it felt a little too crazy for me. It felt a little bit too chaotic. I didn't know my mind was getting a loss or the ear, I should say, was getting lost a little bit here and there on where the beats were. And, uh, cause there was a bunch of like step-ins and like, uh, almost swing style hits into each, uh, downbeat. And so at first, I think I felt it more in the first drop, but that's probably because it's just my, my I was getting more used to it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I, I it's one of those ones that I feel like at first you're like a little confused about it all, but then as you listen to it a couple more times, you're like, oh yeah, like this this makes a lot of sense. Um, uh, Topi, I think, is a great example for me where I just like listen to listen to his stuff at first and I'm just like, this is weird, and I'm like, okay, no, actually, I I understand now with a little couple more listens, and maybe it's just my my uh, <laughs> my boomer ears. I don't know. I'm I don't know what that means exactly, but. Um, yeah, so that one I think needs a, a couple more listens for me to get into the, the real rhythm of the track because it does feel very jagged. It does feel like I feel that rigidness in the individual drop elements. I, I, I feel it coming. And so uh, I, I like the little sound design or sorry, the storyline. I like the uh, I like the kind of style of this liminal space that is now also like abducting people like there's a reason for these liminal spaces now and that's because these people are transporting to a different dimension i think that's a quite fun play on liminal spaces that i i've explored a little bit but not a ton but feel like is not something i haven't seen a whole ton i don't know is there a game out there that's something like that but i feel like that's a, a, a specific um like additive X factor storyline to liminal spaces. I hadn't quite heard up to this point. So uh, I did enjoy that. I, I thought the song was great. I, I love the sound design. I love, yes, I do like the punchiness of it. I just think rhythmically it was a little bit more off putting for me on first listen, but uh, still a, a really solid song. And, and one that I think is, is very unique for that. Uh, that just like really like it's, it's like an emptiness that is, that is very intentionally crafted there, which is kind of like a liminal space of sorts. Um, whoa, is that, I don't know if that's exactly what they're going for, but like you, you can hear the little bits of like, of nothing happening in the song throughout each of these hits about uh, through all these notes and synth hits and little licks and stuff. You can, you can hear the track just be nothing in those moments, um, which is a style that I haven't heard a ton of color base and I, uh, I kind of like it. So, um, but yeah, that, that is, that is my thoughts. My first initial reaction, first listen to, uh, Liminal by Chime and Convexity. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but other than that, I'm Dakota from Brotide Media and I'll see you guys in another video.